Hi and welcome. Uh, we are so glad that you're able to watch this video and just join us as part of this conversation. Just so you know, um, this year or, or for the past year and, and some change now, we've been going through this whole story uh, campaign or series in our morning services. And what we're doing is we're looking at the whole story of scripture. Pastor Derek has been going through um, Genesis uh, and, and right now we're in the book of Job. We're going all the way to Revelation. It's about a three year track. Um, but this year, as we're going through this, we really wanted to focus on scripture meditation. So if you've been coming on Sunday mornings or if you have our app, um, we actually have scripture meditation guides um, that you can find them in the foyer. Or like I said, if you have our church app, it is available right on the homepage of our church app. Um, and we just wanted to... Um, as this month comes to a close, this is the passage that we had uh, as, as a staff and, and as leadership chosen for uh, for this month. And so uh, Alex and I just wanted to get together and we wanted to just discuss this passage just a little bit. But before we do that, uh, Alex actually had some observations or, or just some uh, general things that he thought we should focus on before we jump into scripture meditation. Yeah, so um, as we've been starting this kind of campaign and starting to look at meditation, I think it's important that we understand what it is because we're not asking, um, the, well, I, I guess I should say meditation has a lot of baggage, that word does. It can. And so um, we want to understand and give you ex actually how to do this. What are you? What should you be doing at home when you're looking at this passage? And I, I think a lot of uh, what has influenced me on Christian meditation is a book um, by Don Donald Whitney. It's um, a spiritual disciplines in the Christian life, and I, I highly recommend it. It's fantastic. But one of those is meditation. And for me, I had no idea really what I was supposed to be doing when I said meditating. And his definition is to, uh, of, of meditation is to think deeply about God and His Word. And so often, um, maybe even this last year, if you even completed the um, the Bible reading plan, you might have read really quickly. And I, I'm like kind of a victim of that as well, of just kind of getting through what I need to. But um, meditating on God's word is thinking deeply about it, pausing, reflecting, looking at the words and what God is saying in and through them. And so that's why we have a, a, a short passage specifically every single month for you to take a long time to think about it deeply. And then we have these questions that help reflect that meditation in our lives. And so... Yeah, that's great. And act actually, as you uh, bring that up, we have three questions that are that are going to be pretty standard. And and every time we we do one of these scripture meditations, but it's what does this passage teach me about God? What does this passage teach me about myself? And, and how can I apply this passage to my life? Um, and I think that as we approach scripture, uh, just on a very baseline level, those are mm -hmm. good questions to just come back to when we're struggling with a certain passage of scripture, and especially Job. Job can be a very difficult yeah. uh, book to go through. It can be a very difficult book to to really try to understand and apply to our lives. Um, but as we look at this passage, it is Job 26, um, 5 through 14, correct? Right. Um, and as we look through Job 26, 5 through 14, Really, uh, if you if in your Bibles, a lot of times the heading over this section is just the greatness of God, and and as I read it, um, m much of what it's saying and much of what I end up leaning on is is the sovereignty of God, the fact that God is sovereign, the fact that God is in control, uh, not just over what we see, but even the unseen, and. That is that is something that is just important for me to continue to remind myself over and over again is just the sovereignty of God. I think that in our world, with how crazy it is, uh, it's it's easy to sometimes lose sight of the fact that God is in control, good, bad, ugly, like he is still in control. Um, and, and it's just, it's good to remind ourselves of this. I mean, we even see in Job's life, there was a lot of confusion. There's a lot of uh, pretty bad things happening in Job's life, uh, but it's important to remind yourself that God is powerful, God is in control, and God still has his hand on this situation. And even though we might not understand where it's going or what is happening, God still has his hand on that situation. Yeah, and that, and that really informs how we are to think about this passage for ourselves. So we, we see this this in this passage that there is a greatness to God. God is doing amazing things, seen and unseen. Right. And God is 
um, displayed as all powerful, um, almighty. And I think that's important as we think about ourselves where God is strong, we are weak. And while that sounds like, wow, that's not really super encouraging, it's actually the most encouraging thing that from this passage to apply to our lives because we are engaging in a relationship with a God that is so much greater than our circumstances, so much greater than um, the pains in our life. And I think that's why it it shows up in Job of all places, a, a book about suffering. Um, And so where we see all these passages, how God has done amazing things on the face of the moon, um, uh, underneath the seas, the pillars of heaven tremble. When I see that I have reverence for God, because while my life might be spinning out of control or or even in a good place as well, God is greater than all of those things. And so it's a reflection of who God is and his grace and his mercy and his might um, that sends me to worship. Right. And, and I mean, I think, I think it's also that leads, both of those things lead directly into application. Mm-hmm. Um, as silly as it sounds, the, the application is right there. And, and what I mean by that is, I mean, I am, I am naturally an anxious person. Um, and, and in my Christian walk, the one thing that I run to and I run to and I run to, to combat that anxiousness is uh, to acknowledge the facts. Um, and, and part of that is acknowledging that, yes, like I am weak and I do not have everything under control. There are many unknowns, but, but the comfort that I find, the thing that I lean on is the fact that God is in control. And, and while I look at something, uh, like finances or, or like a project that I'm working on or, or relationships, and, and it seems like it is so, beyond my ability to repair or to keep under control or to, you know, just have a good grasp on, um, I'm comforted by the fact that, you know, there are many unknowns in each situation, but God is the one who is in control. God knows what is going on. And while this situation gives me anxiety and while it gives me stress and while, you know, all of these different things, I, I can lean on the fact that God is sovereign. God is the one who, like Alex said, the pillars of heaven tremble. He quieted the seas with his power. His, uh, by his breath, the heavens are cleared. Those are things that are, are so unfathomably great and unfathomably powerful uh, that we can rest easy knowing that while we're weak, God is strong and God is in control. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, just to count, this is a, like, combined with that in control but also unchanging mm. our lives are, are are filled with ups and downs you might be watching this video right now and you might be going through a really hard season of life um some of you are like well, no everything's okay everything's pretty good right now and both of those are are places that god has placed you in a season um and so our lives go up and down continuously and it seems like it could be out of control but we're we're in a relationship with a holy God that is in control and is unchanging. The same God that Job is talking about is the same God that we're serving and having a relationship right now with. Right. And so just the comfort of while our lives could be out of in chaos right now, God is still sovereignly working in his unchangeable ways, um, caring for us. And so it, it comforts me to re- just be reminded to hold fast to something that isn't changing, um, to someone that is um, uh, always there because God, in fact, is there and he cares greatly for us. And so this characteristic of the unchanging, the, um, the sovereign, holy, mighty God that we serve is... Um, is should be comforting and a, and a great application into our daily lives really right yeah and so i hope that as we continue on this year that you would join us that you would join us as we meditate on scripture if you guys want to sneak peek um, next month we're actually going to be looking at psalm 19 7 through 4 so write write that down before it's even uh, on the app before it's and the papers are in the foyer, you, you already know. Um, and so if you guys want to, to join us in this, uh, we really uh, hope that it, it helps you dig deeper in your scripture reading, but also in your relationship with God. Uh, we love you guys, and we can't wait to see you on Sunday.